Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back. It's part two of the stream. We're doing it, okay? Um, while we were on break, Blue, hello. Um, while we were on break, Lunar shared that she was uh, she was looking at the at the website. Lunar, uh, tell them which shirt you're looking at. <laughs> I want the Omega's Night shirt because it's so oh on God. brand for me. Oh my God, it's so on brand for your wolf stuff. It's so on brand. Yeah, I've got a, I've got another one from the shop. I'm gonna wear my other one tomorrow. So this is the first one. Support your local Fujoshi. You'll have to come back tomorrow to see which other one um, I ordered. All right, I'm getting the game going again. Uh, I'll, I'll invite you as soon as it loads, Lunar. Blue, how are you doing? How was your weekend? I hope you're having a good weekend. Luna, are you streaming today? Yes, I okay. will not sleep through stream today. Okay. <laughs> I took a nap Poor yesterday Luna. since I've been working more hours. Um, someone's on vacation. I never set my alarm and I woke up like 45 minutes into stream. Oh my God, that's so annoying. <laughs> I was like, well, okay. Yeah, what are you supposed to do at that point, you know? I thought about like, streaming anyway, but I'm like, there's only like 15, 30 minutes of stream left. I might as well just not. Yeah, I probably just wouldn't. I would be like, well, I mean, I, I just feel like it's a sign. You know, it's a sign that's like, I was not supposed to stream today. I was supposed to do other things. I really needed the sleep, you know. Yep. I so would take today, that as a sign. I will be streaming. Okay. And All we right. will be talking about the poor little wolf because they named her, we have named her Mercy. Mercy. Mm -hmm. Okay. In her mercy. So we will be making mercy on stream and playing her on Wolf West. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Oh, is that like is that like your name for her? Or did like the internet kind of name her that? The internet named her that. Okay. They're talking about Hope. Name her Hope. Uh, another another name I can't remember, but everyone decided on Mercy. Mm. Hope would have been good, but I wouldn't have been able to think about that without thinking about um, Vampire Diaries and Originals. <laughs> I I don't... Okay. I am a very, very big Haley fan. Yes. I love Haley Marshall. She is like my everything. I love strong female characters, and she was one of them. And I adored her. And I blame Hope for her dying. <laughs> so I cannot like... I don't like Hope. <laughs> yeah. It gets sorry, better, have... though. It gets better, though. But then the ending, the last season was, like, really stupid and kind of ruined ru ruined it, you know? Yeah. But what can so we I expect? Can... <laughs> so I have very strong emotions about that. I definitely understand, and I don't really disagree. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I really, I really, I, I really, really liked her, and then they killed her off in that way. And I mean, I, I get Haley would have done it anyway to save hope but also it's it's all her fault yeah it is kind of you know so i'm like mm. yeah <coughs> yeah it is what it is blue has said had two interviews yesterday praying one of them goes through i'm praying one of them goes through for you too blue i'm sending you good vibes um, I hope one of those interviews pans out i hope they give you an offer and not only an offer but an offer that you like okay like a good offer right don't you don't take don't take a shitty offer just because you have to you want to take something you know Good i would advice. have thought about final fantasy 13's hope oh that's true there's a character named hope in 13 as well i have a role play character she's a three-year-old angel character which they named her hope oh hope's so. a cute name for an angel character Okay, yeah, we've got we've got some iron um, in there for you, Lunar. If you want to go upgrade, whatever you want to go upgrade. What should, what should I upgrade first? Um, I would think? upgrade. I would make sure that I had a good pickaxe and axe first. But you got to make sure you're good enough level to use it, like because it, it it only locks you to a certain level. So you might have to use like copper ones for a minute. Oh, okay. So you just have to look.
Really good pay, even if it starts part-time. Oh, nice. Oh, honestly, they told me up front the one of the interviews, I'm praying that one goes through. Okay, so you, for, the, for one of them, you already know what the offer is going to be if you get it. That's good. Well, hopefully you get that one that you already know is the good offer. Do we need starfish and clams? I can't remember. I don't think so. I think I've already done the things that we needed them for. I mean, sometimes they come up in like the daily quests on the bulletin board, but I think that's it. So I think okay. we can sell them. I think. <laughs> I hope I'm right on that. I don't remember anything that we need them for. I'll keep some back in my chest and some up, up here just in case we do need them. Okay, and then like sell the rest. They told me if you stick Cookies. around and perform well, I can stay full time. So that's great. And I'm really praying for that one. Oh, nice. Hopefully they follow through on that. And then it turns into like a good full time thing. Sorry, what were you saying, Lunar? There's cookies. Yes, I um, Landon made a bunch of cookies. I, I sold them. But if you have the quests, because there are a couple of quests for cookies and you want to grab them, you can. Okay. Um... Like, I think Liam has a quest for cookies that you might end up, you might have. Oh, if you uh, progress your northern forest quest, there's like a bat devil snackoon. He wants oh potatoes and wheat. Okay. We probably have that. We have wheat. I know that for a fact. Yeah, I might have to get some potatoes. We probably had potatoes and cooked them <laughs> to try to get money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, you're at the part of your quest where we made it to the elf land, right? I I went with y'all. I know that. Okay. I followed y'all when okay. we went there last time. All right. But you don't have the quest? I don't think so. Okay. I think I'm going to go to Elfland and progress more there. Run, run! I'll check and see if we have potatoes and wheat before I go. <clears throat> Maybe grow some potatoes. If you need some, I do have um, 18. Oh, you have some? Yes, in my inventory. Okay, we're gonna need we're gonna need ten potatoes and ten wheat. I will give you my wheat. Okay. But you don't need it for any quests you're doing. Not not yet. Okay. Well, let me just check the boxes first, or the chests. Let's see what we've got. Aw, Landon had to go before she got to harvest all of her dead, her dead grapes. Hang on, let me f do these right for her so that she has the seeds when she comes back. I think she's got to harvest one of them. So okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave one dead grape here for her. So hopefully that's okay. So don't mess with it, Lunar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because I think she has to actually harvest one. But I can convert the rest of these back to seeds. Why are they dead? Because that's what happens when you get to that part of the quest. Oh. So it's supposed to happen. Yeah, it's supposed to happen. But you don't know that. It's just, it's annoying. Because um, they tell you you have to grow the grapes. But then they don't tell you all the steps. 
and the game and even if you know the steps the game won't let you do them <laughs> so oh. it's like ah and then you go back and then they're like oh here's all everything you're supposed to do and then you're like Although oh <laughs> could have told me that before yeah and then you can grow them the right way They have a firefly jar, and that's really cute. Oh, firefly jar? That's nice. A bunny poster? Where are you? Where are you looking? <laughs> the basic furniture. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, you're just looking at what we can make with the furnitures. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, that's really one thing. Yeah, it's one kind of weird quirk of this game. It's actually more expensive to make your own furniture than to go buy those pieces um, from the store. R really? Yeah. Like, it, it's like you, you're paying more for convenience, which is really, really strange. The games are not usually structured that way. Even though I guess mm. in real life, a lot of times make it from making your own would be more expensive than going to the store and buying it. You know, that's why we don't make our own furniture. But, um, but it's just kind of really interesting that a game has that. That is weird. Okay. Let's check on wheat and potatoes. Do we have... Okay, yes, we have those. Can you give me three wheat, please? Yes. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Maybe just put it in the chest and then I'll get them out. <laughs> I'm not sure how to do that. Yeah, I don't know if you can directly trade. There we go. Okay, sweet. Which chest are they in? The second get one okay why don't I see them That's am I so crazy weird. hang on yeah I can't find them lunar I don't know what's happening the other than I'm playing my first few from soft titles oh which ones are you playing blue I'm not a very good gamer so I can't really do those but I know that people love, like, the Souls games and stuff. Okay. Try the last one. Okay. There we go. I put him in my backpack on accident. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to call yourself out like that. I already knew. <laughs> I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna shame you, Lunar. <laughs> <laughs> I am the problem, it is me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Poor thing. Because of my standing I had to start with PS3, so I bought Demon and Dark Souls. Oh nice. Lunar, have you ever played those the Souls games or any of those? The what games? Like um, like Demon Souls, Dark Souls, like those FromSoft games. No. Yeah, me either. I, I'm bad at video games, so I just watch other people play them. Or like Life of P, that was one that came out that was like, it wasn't by FromSoft, but it was that same type of game. Or Lies of P, that's what it was called. Yeah, they're really fun. They've gotten better over time. Elden Ring is surprisingly approachable. That's what I've heard. If I ever wanted to start, I should start with Elden Ring. 
because it's the it, it has it's the most um engaging and forgiving for people that don't know what they're doing which would be me <laughs> definitely All right, there we go. Okay, snack coon. You have your snacks. Now go away. Oh, he gave me a plushie too. I thought he wasn't going to for the second. Wait, um... what hap what's happening? Oh, it's another cutscene. The game definitely has a relatively steep learning curve. Yeah. I mean, I can tell just watching other people play it. And that's why I've never tried. Because I'm like, I would have to like completely learn how to do it, you know? It would not be easy for me. Okay, I don't wanna, okay. We got rid of the snack coon in the north, but I think I actually wanna go back to elf land. I don't think I wanna do the north part yet. More dark souls than demon souls. Yeah, that makes sense. But you know, that's what's so cool about video games as a medium. Someone can make something brand new and then it like spawn a whole genre that can iterate and iterate and iterate um, and, and just get better and better. You know, it's just, it's a, it's so different than when you're talking about like movies or books or a lot of other types of media. Because um, for a lot of other types of media, it's pretty common where it's like the first one is the best and then the quality kind of degrades over time, you know? But video games is one of the few mediums that's not like that. A lot of times the sequel is better than the first one. Usually the first one is not the best one, you know? I mean, don't you feel that way, Lunar? A lot of times like the first version of a game is not the best one. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I need berries because I'm going to elf land. I guess I should just keep some in my inventory too. That's smart. Landon said that. I'm going to do that. I've got a controversial opinion on them, but I think Sekiro is the best to start with. I've not heard that before. Almost everyone says Elden Ring is what you should start with. Demon Souls is a very re respectable start to kick off the Souls franchise though. I see, I see. Oh wait, what am I doing? I just need to talk to the griffin. Lunar, can you see the griffin even though you're not that far on your quests? Um... Yes. Okay. I just can't do anything with him. Okay. So when you talk to him, nothing happens. Oh my gosh. This poor, this poor farm is so overrun. It's so overrun. Okay. But I can pick the acorns. All right. There we go. Let's steer everyone to start with Bloodborne. <laughs> Blue, I know that's the wrong answer. Okay. I know that's the wrong answer. <laughs> oh my gosh let's probably sell those okay Elden Ring is generally considered the good one to start with I just think Sekiro is good because it has the same basics but with lots of mechanics that you have to unlearn from the others it's also some of the best combat by far well I know Sekiro is pretty popular so I can see why you would say that I don't know it's just I guess I guess in my heart I am just a girl gamer you know I love my simulations and my RPGs. <laughs> you gotta get the PS5. You should own yourself or buy a copy of Bloodborne. I feel like you're lying to me, Blue. Do you believe Blue Lunar? I don't think he's telling the truth. <laughs> well, I would like to be excluded from this narrative. <laughs> if that doesn't answer your question. <laughs> uh. Dark Souls redefined RPGs. I don't disagree. I don't disagree. I just, you know. I I don't have gamer skill, okay? I have persistence and patience. <laughs> no skill, so, you know. Oh, Lunar, here's somebody. I don't know if he's dateable. Wesley, the elf that hates you. Um, oh I don't gosh, know. Maybe. Huh? 
oh my gosh, there's a uh, role play character my friend has. His name is Wesley. And Delilah and Wesley were courting each other, and then he was put in an arranged marriage with a princess. <gasps> and now, then he got kidnapped, and we had to save him. <laughs> oh my gosh! Is he gonna <laughs> marry the princess or not? No, because uh, he got out of it. But Good. I don't know if you want. So I'm like, Delilah, he can have Delilah again, but I don't know how. It, she's keeping, no, like, not in a bad way, but she's keeping secrets. So I'm oh. like, I'm thinking, something's gonna happen. Delilah, you need to not keep secrets now. <laughs> That's not good. It created a subgenre. Very few games can say this. That's true. It did create a subgenre. It did create a subgenre. Like I, I, I remember. I remember when first-person shooters as a genre didn't exist, and they were all just called Doom likes. They were all just called Doom Likes. I remember that. Although I will say, great from software crafting their own version of Devil May Cry with their own engine and boss design. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad he didn't have to marry the Princess Lunar. That would have been yeah. really sad. Me too. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it was all because of his sister. Mm. What? Why? What does his sister have to do with it? Um, he, she was spending a lot of time with the princess, not knowing it was the princess, so she was oh. not doing her princessly duties and stuff like that. So to get, so to strengthen the alliance between, like, the two kingdoms, he had to marry the princess, and she was the squire to that princess, and so. Oh my gosh, this friend, is complicated. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm, so, yeah, that was fun. I, I love plots like that, though. That sounds so fun. Ooh, a Sunite key. Okay. Okay, so the Nalvari elves are isolationist. They uh, they don't leave their town and they don't like outsiders coming in. Ooh, oh, well, that's not good. Yeah, yeah, that's what I just learned. But I think their leader wants to like slowly change that and open them up more. Also, let it be known that the devs of Dark Souls knew the stamina mechanic was so bad they made an entire game with no stamina. Good, stamina mechanics suck. Okay, I have to find Iris. Then Sekiro is perfect for you, Karen. <laughs> you know what other mechanic sucks and no one likes and they keep putting it in games randomly thinking someday someone's going to like it? Encumbrance. No one likes encumbrance. Why do they keep putting this in games? It's dumb. It's dumb. I should be able to carry more weight in a game than I could ever possibly carry in real life and we just accept this. It's just like, it's, <laughs> we just accept it as a thing and it's okay. All right. Who wants to walk slowly? Not me. I want to loot everything. <laughs> I mean, I have mean, you ever have you ever been playing a game and thought this encumbrance mechanic is gr is great? This totally enhances the gameplay. No, you haven't, because it doesn't. <laughs> Well, Braille, that sounds like an RPG to me, I gotta say. That list sounds like an RPG to me. All right, collect soul sap from the elven forest. Okay, I have to go back into the forest, you guys. Okay, Lunar, so I, you know, I asked Landon and I think I got, we got good opinions from her, but I'm gonna go back to Taylor Swift. What do you think is next for Taylor Swift? Are you kind of in agreement to what we were talking about before? Or do you think like that there's anything else? I actually agree with Landon. Like, yeah. perfectly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
because people are I'm, saying that this album is well, i love this album but they're saying that it's lazy it's not authentic it's just dumb and i think that she made this album not for grammys or scammies if you want to call it that <laughs> i mean kind <laughs> of you know when was the last time that um i can remember respecting a grammy decision i can't remember this you know can you i can't exactly. no exactly yeah um but she i think she made this just to make it just to tell us her side of the story mm, i don't mm -hmm, think she mm -hmm. was thinking about pop charts or grammys or awards or anything i think she just wanted to tell her side of the story because one thing that people like about taylor swift is that she's relatable you might hate her but there's probably one or two songs off every single album that she has that you can relate to yeah i would agree so. with that i mean that's why i even though i'm not like full on swifty when she releases a, a new album i'll go listen to the singles from that album what like what the popular songs are you know because there's going to be one i like <laughs> every album there's going to be one i like you know what i mean exactly yeah. So I kind of wish that Fortnite wasn't the single and the one that got the music video. I kind of wanted it to be you can do with a broken heart. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been cool. But I really like that one. So maybe it'll get hopefully it'll get the next um, the next one, you know, I hope so. I really hope so. So this it's and my friend even who's not a Taylor Swift fan. She also likes it. Yeah. And was telling me her favorite songs. Yeah. And we have um, a playlist for our characters that we have together. Hell yeah. And um, <laughs> that we listen to usually every day. And we had to go through the Torture Poets Department, like, I think twice one day mm -hmm. uh, to see if there's any songs that match them. Oh, yeah, of course. So we have, like, Taylor Swift songs and Selena Gomez and other songs from other artists that are all yeah. on there and just something fun because our characters weren't supposed to find love or anything it just kind of happened oh and so yeah they're our favorite characters right now so we did that and she picked the songs that she liked the best and then my other friend <laughs> from work was sending me all kinds of things off her tiktok because all of her for you pages was tick was taylor swift stuff yeah, well, that's how I knew that the new album had dropped because all of a sudden there was new Taylor Swift songs all over my TikTok. <laughs> mm. I love it. Yeah. So it was funny. I was like, why am I getting Taylor Swift songs all of a sudden? Oh, my God. And then I saw the little the little TPS like symbol thing, like the weird looking letters, you know, I was like, oh, OK. T -T and I figured it out. Yeah. Yeah, I took that day off when she announced it that like back in February that it was coming out on April the 19th. I, of course the next you day did. I came in I came into work and I had a my boss came in to find uh, a leave uh, day, day off request form. Oh and she gosh. comes in the hallway and she approved it. And of she course. comes in the hallway and she goes, "I should have known. I should have <laughs> known. I knew that you were going to put that I was going to find that on my desk the next morning. I almost asked you last night." Ah. Uh. No, you're so predictable, that, Lunar. I'm like, no, I would, I would do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's too funny. So even she knows that I would do that. That's that's amazing, though. You know what game doesn't have encumbrance? Sekiro. Karen, become a Seki bro today. I don't know, Blue. I don't think it's for me. I mean, do you think it fits my brand? I don't think it fits my brand. Speaking of, speaking of Taylor that? Swift stuff, you know, like it's got to fit the brand, you know what I'm saying? Or it's like, why? I can fit Taylor Swift into your brand. I can help you with that. Yeah, you could. <laughs> I think it would be kind of like if Lunar, if you said you were never streaming Wolf Quest again, like I'd be like, what the what? What the what? I Oh, I'd be very sad. Yeah. Like Dark Souls game. doesn't fit my brand. <laughs> my husband goes it fits mine that most of the gameplay that i've seen of various souls and souls likes are um watching my husband play them usually i'll see him play them and if they look interesting to me then i'll go watch some streams of that game and so that's like my exposure to uh to souls games look at me now playing my first few from Soft games and i'm eager to play more i love that though i love that for you
Oh, I wasn't trying to check my mail. I was trying to open the chest. Oh, it is late. It is late. It's time to go to bed. Bye. The missile is sleepy. I'm never saying I'm good at any of them. Well, I know, I know no matter what, um, I would have, I would need lots of practice to be good at them because they're like very different than uh, the games that I usually play. Whoa, your house is so big. The, um, the, my, the elf one? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And you, this is the starter house. Like, this is just what it comes with. I need to move the bed though. It's like so far away. Um, I don't want to walk through the whole dang house to get to the bed. I gotta move this shit. Because the phrase you died always shows up on screen. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, that's what would happen if I played. I would just be dead all the time. <laughs> okay, I need a little bit more. Oh, return to Iris with the sap. I didn't think I got enough sap. Oh, I guess I got enough sap. Oh, that's weird. Could have sworn I only got four saps. Anyways, whatever. Maybe I wasn't paying attention because it was late. Oh my gosh, there's so much shit in my way. Do you have the stream open too, Lunar? Is that why you said that? Wait, what? Do you have the stream open too? Uh, yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Just just make sure nothing happens, you know. Yeah. You know, it's been pretty calm. It's been pretty calm in the chat. Like, we haven't had any any craziness in a long time. I'm probably summoning the craziness by saying that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I really haven't. I have you on, uh, like, 1% volume, and I have the stream open just to keep an eye on chat. Yeah, makes sense. We haven't really had, and I haven't really seen a lot of um, issues in your stream either. I feel like things have been pretty chill yep. for both of us. The last thing I had happen was... Um, Someone called me uh, fat on uh, when I was playing um, Minecraft. So stupid. Why? <laughs> it was it was F enter A enter. Then my friend posted something and then T. And I was oh like, my god! Like just yeah. to get around the the censor censored words, just to yes, oh my god! How, how desperate! Yeah. How desperate! Uh huh. And I was like, haha, very funny. And then they never said anything again. So <laughs> they didn't give them the reaction they wanted. What did they? <laughs> <laughs> it's just so dumb it's so dumb <laughs> like what is, what i don't know i don't understand that like what do people think is gonna happen you know what i mean yeah so that was but if that's the worst thing that happened in a long time i'll take it that's true that i mean out of all the things that's like that's pretty you know that's not too bad yeah that doesn't really bother me anymore so. yeah i mean at some point it's just kind of like it's just kind of like okay and <laughs> Yeah, that's you know like kind, of, I mean? kind of how it was. I was like, funny, haha. -ha. Yeah, then, yeah. I can't game. remember. I can't remember the last time I had someone the, had someone call me fat on stream. I got a YouTube comment a couple of months ago, um, but it wasn't. It, I wasn't live or anything. It was like a comment on some VOD. What did they? What did they say? They just. They just said. They just said you're fat. <laughs> it's okay. That's so dumb. <laughs> it's okay. Heck? I don't know. Like, okay, you can. Okay. I guess. I don't understand. I just don't understand. You know what I mean? I guess. I, I guess the. I, all I can think is when someone comments that, like, they are they are very obsessed with weight. You know what I mean? That or they're like five. <laughs> like, yeah, or they're teenagers, right? Because I figured Karen is fluffy. That that's teenager. right, blue. That's right, blue. I don't know. I have I have no interest in losing weight. I don't know. Just sorry if that offends you, but that's I just don't care. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? Like I'm in my thirties. What the heck? Same. Yeah. Oh, okay. I met the dragon. I met the dragon for the um the elf land. It's so beautiful. That dragon is beautiful. I love it. So I guess this is the first time the stream is seeing it. It's beautiful. It covers up the wrinkles exactly <laughs> blue skinny it no it's true though it's true though if you look like if you look at like a really skinny lady in like in their 50s or whatever they look so much older than like fat or like you know even just even just like not skinny women in their 50s like think about it think about the people the like like older adults that you know in your life right the fatter ones look younger 
I never thought about that before. But it's true. It's true. Like, think about it. If you, because if you know somebody that's like 50 plus, that's really skinny, they look older. I seriously never thought about that before until just now. Yep. You're like, there's this girl at work um, that's, well, she's not that much older than me. She's in her 40s. And um, and she always, it's so funny. She has a teenage son, right? And con when people that don't know her find out how old her son is, they're like, nah, -uh. nah, -uh. you do not have a teenage son. You are not old enough for a teenage son. And she's, and she's like, and she's so funny. She'll say like, well, you know, just a little bit of fluff hides the wrinkles. So it's, the, it's literally the same thing Blue said, and she'll say that every time. I've heard her make the joke like four times now. It's it's so funny. But she's so right. They'll fill out their dresses and wrinkles. Exactly. That's true, Blue. It's true. Yeah. Let's see. Need these. And... Okay, I'm about to get my I'm about to get my quests from this dragon. I hope it's nature inspired because that dragon is beautiful. Yeah, about to find out. There are some women who are like mega plus. That's true. That's true. Some people, you know, some people, it's not Maybelline. They're just born this way. Yeah, I, I wish. I do I do have the little bit of a double chin situation. It would be nice. But, you know, I've always had that. Even when I've gotten really skinny. Oh, I guess, Lunar, you probably don't know this about me because it was like when I was really young. So you probably this is probably a new story for you, too. I actually had... Um, a couple of surgeries when I was younger because I had such trouble with like allergies and breathing and things. So like I had my tonsils and adenoids taken out um, and I had a deviated septum corrected, right? And um, and at one point, because I had to have the, the nose surgery done twice actually because there was some problems and I lost so much weight. I was like 16 or 17 at the time and I got down to 100 pounds and girl, I still had this. I still had this under the chin thing. Still. Like, it never went away. Even at 100 pounds. Oh my god! Madam MG! Girl! Madam- Oh my gosh! Y'all, Madam MG is like an OG. Okay? We met during the pandemic when I was like really active in the Elixir server. Madam MG, how have you been? How have you been? And hello, welcome Raiders. If you're not familiar with me, my name is Karen Terry. My friend on the on the stream right now is Lunar. We're playing Sunhaven together. It's our community day. Madam, how have you been? How, oh, Cookie, how have you been? Oh my gosh, Madam, how's the husband been? I haven't hung out with you guys in forever. I miss y'all. I should go check out your streams some more. I kind of like, I've kind of fallen off with the Elixir fam because so many of them don't stream anymore, you know? So I kind of stopped checking those. Surviving, hanging in there, same. Lunar, you too, right? Surviving. Mm -hmm. One one day at a time. One day at a time, that's right. Okay, I have to infuse these orbs with mana. I saw you were online and got excited. That's amazing. I need to, I actually need to clean up who I'm following. Lunar, does this happen to you where you realize you followed so many streamers that like when there's like too many and you, you miss that people are streaming? Yes, or I'm yeah. like, why did I follow this person? I don't remember this person. Yeah, yeah. So I follow um, them to clean up my, my followers list and then I like drop like five followers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Oh well. That's happened to me before too, where I'm like, I unfollow and then, cause I don't remember or they don't stream very often. And I just, so I don't remember how I met them. And it's literally like, oh, we had mutually followed each other as like fellow streamers. And I just forgot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, you know, I'm, you know, so yeah. <laughs> but you can only watch so many other streamers. You know what I mean? I think I follow a lot of streamers, but I think I only actively watch like, Two. Yeah. Same. It's you and the other streamer that I met. So the yeah. Like yeah. I, I have a couple of streamers that I follow that are literally like mutual. Like you're one of those. 
Um, but then I have a couple of streamers that um, they don't, they have no idea who I am, you know, like they're big streamers, you know what I mean? So yes. um, that I, that I watch, uh, but, um, but otherwise, like I just run out of time. I have to clean up mine too. Yeah, true, madam. Yeah. Don't make, get me started. I went back to look through my follow list and I looked back at my decade long account. Yeah, you've been on Twitch for forever. So you probably follow a lot of people that you no longer watch blue. Yeah, I need to go clean mine up so that I, I can actually like remember who's on there. Because there's people that I haven't like clicked on their stream in forever that like even if I don't have time to watch them, like I would love to just notice that they're streaming and at least like open the stream to support them, you know? But there's streamers I haven't been able to do that with because my list is just so freaking long. <laughs> I have to get back into watching more streams. I haven't caught any in a while. Yeah. I got so emotional. All of my phrases that I went phases that I went through. Yeah. Looking through family photos. Oh, that's so cute. Lunar, were you watching Twitch a lot before you started streaming? I watched one of my former friends when she started and I thought it looked fun. So I kind of I made an account, but I, I did a lot of watching other people before I started streaming. I see. I see a lot of lurking kind of. Yes. Yeah. Where the heck is this fourth mana conduit? Can't find it. Seeing all those PFPs in the games associated with them. Yeah. Really what I need to do is I need to go through and unfollow the people that aren't actually streaming anymore. I think that would help. Okay, it's not back here. Yeah, madam, I'm so happy to see that you're still streaming. Cookie, do you still stream? Or do you just hang out with on Madam streams? Okay, I did this one. I don't need to do it again. Okay, then I came down here. This is like planting the flowers for June. And I can't like find the fourth spot. I have that quest. I can't find out where to put them. Which one are you missing? I can help you. All of them. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, may maybe not yet. If you can't find the last one, let me know and I can help you figure out which one you're missing. <laughs> I almost never unfollow people. I've found sorting my followed by recommended tends to keep those I actually I, that I don't watch at the bottom. So no need to clean up. Oh, well, maybe I should just pay attention to that. Okay, did I do this one? Yes, I guess I did. That's how I found my, um, the streamers that played a lot of Nancy Drew. They came up on my recommended, but they don't stream anymore. Yeah, oh my gosh. Those were good games to watch. The Nancy Drew. Yeah, those were fun. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't know you could sort them either, either madam. I'm going to take a look at that. I've been trying to keep it up at least a little bit consistent. Cookie's been sticking um, with it too when she can. Oh, that's good. Oh, Cookie streams Nancy Drew. Okay, wait, let me do a shout out for Cookie then since we're talking them. about Nancy Drew. How, how do you, is, oh, it's an O, okay. O and three. There we go. Did I do it right? I did it right. Yes, that's the right person. And follow. There you go. So that's another Nancy Drew person. Yay. Yeah, madam, um, I'm, I'm still streaming. I'm pretty consistent, but I don't stream on weekdays anymore. It just became too challenging, um, you know, to stream after work. You know, I'm tired and we have, I have to coordinate dinner with the rest of the house and all this sort of stuff. So it's just weekends now. Um, Saturdays and Sundays is when I stream. And I know that that means like there's a lot of competition on those days. And so like I don't get as many viewers, but it's just it, it's just easier. It's just easier on, on my life, you know? Yeah, mine, <laughs> mine too. But uh, Wolf, Wolf Quest is kind of a quiet game anyway. True, 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 true. And you stream what Saturdays and Mondays, right? Mondays is for our world building roleplay help. Yeah. Um, Fridays is usually Wolf Quest or yeah. 
Minecraft, and then Saturdays are also Wolf Quest. Yeah, and I feel like when you do cancel, like Mondays is the ones that gets canceled more often than not. You know? Yeah, because I have to work late usually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's like why it was so hard for me to do weekdays. It's rough all around with viewers. I find Thursday evenings do pretty well for me for some reason. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, since um, since the world kind of opened back up and no one cares about the pandemic anymore, um, Twitch viewership has really dropped. It really mm. has. Okay, why can I not find this last one to infuse? Like, what? I've wandered around this whole area. What, what am I missing? I did that one. Ha ah, ha ha ha! Found it. All right, back to Iris. Yeah, I will say, um, usually Sundays do better for me than Saturdays. Yeah, the mechanics of it have changed drastically. Yeah, it's so different from when I started out streaming and found all these people with the same goal and mentality. Yeah, yeah, div it. People are out here doing something so different than what they used to be, for sure, for sure. This past Thursday, I must have had 100 people show up on my follower list is live. Wow. You follow wow. a lot of people, Blue. My God. I guess everyone felt like playing on a Thursday night. Yeah. Okay, now I have to find a van. But yeah, thank you so much for stopping by, madam, and uh, and reminding me that you're streaming. I know that sounds like so silly, but like I'm so happy to see that you still are because so many of the people that I met from Elixir are not anymore or they're streaming incredibly irregularly. So like I never really catch them. It's like kind of a rare thing, you know? Okay, she's down this way. Boop, 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 boop. I have pivoted, by the way. So, okay, so people that came in from Madam Stream, if you knew me before, I have pivoted because of the new newness, you know, newest thing I've kind of niched down. Like, you're here for the community day once a month right now. But um, but what I'm really doing is um, is Final Fantasy completionist stream. So I'm playing, like, 100% of Final Fantasy games. We've done 10, we've done 10 too, and we're almost done with um, Final Fantasy 1 now. So that's kind of, that's kind of like what I'm doing mainly. Yeah. One thing too is if you have a lot of community overlap, the days the bigger streamers in that aren't on probably are your best days. Yeah. I think that's why Sundays I get a bit more because there's, because the bigger Final Fantasy streamers are not really streaming on Sundays so much. I have church on Sundays. I can't stream. Yeah. I thought about it though. Yeah, I think that's a lot of people's case as well. Like Sundays is like church day or family day or something like that. And so it's like it's just not feasible for them to do both Saturday and Sunday. They have to pick one or the other kind of. I mean, people move on. Yeah, same thing happened to me when I started Twitch in 2013, stopped in 2015. I took a massive hiatus until C19 hit. Yeah. And people's interests change too. Like they get bored or they want a different kind of content or they're like, you know, I've seen so much of like this type of game or this type of podcast or whatever and they just want newness you know have you met shang on this game karen yes i kind of like him yeah he's cool right like he he's like doing his own thing he does not want to talk to you oh that's <laughs> sad he's uh then. yeah he's so funny i think like he was he was like the right kind of standoffish where like I it made me feel like I had to be his friend. So every time I get a little bit more hearts with him, I'm so excited. I, just to get out of the way. I said, hi, welcome to Sunhaven or whatever. And he said, uh, get out of my way, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's him. That's him. You said you want to romance him? Kind of. OK, kind yeah, of like go for it. Challenge now. Yeah, I don't think anyone said that they're going for him um, on, in the group game. So, yeah, you totally can. Even the look of streams and interactions have changed a lot. True. True. Mm -hmm. It makes me wonder why I stopped using Twitch for five whole years. Yeah. And since COVID, I've literally logged in daily. Yeah. Like, that's pretty much like, because I was never really, I was never really like a stream Twitch person until the pandemic. And then like, and then it was really helpful to have that throughout the pandemic. 
but then I just never stopped, you know? But a lot of people, when things opened back up from the pandemic, they did stop. Can you put Lunar's official name? Yes. Okay, let's do a shout out for Lunar. There you go. Club Moon, that's their channel. Thank you. She does a lot of like simulation type of games. So Wolf Quest is probably the main game um, that she does. But she, you also still do like Sims 4 pretty regularly, I feel like. Yep. We do yeah. Sims 4 and uh, Sunhaven. Yes. <clears throat> But it's all it's all pretty much within that genre. And wolves. So if like a new wolf game came out, I'm sure you would play it. Like how you played the wolf update for Minecraft. Oh yes. Even though you don't normally play Minecraft. Nope. We're oh, making the Flintstones. Oh my god, you're making the Flintstones in Sims? Oh, that's awesome. That's too funny. Oh, I love I, that. I still want to play the Swift to Sea challenge on on um stream but i'm afraid because every time i do a, a legacy challenge type thing my legacy sim dies <laughs> one got eaten by a cow plant and then eaten again by the cow plant and okay the other one... okay okay but like when i think of like your funniest streams <laughs> those are like your funniest streams like there if you if you start a legacy challenge it's going to be chaos <laughs> it, like, like guaranteed like we started one on stream and what happened in like the second uh, The cow plant, I remember that. Yeah, the cow plant. And then for my other one, we started like years later, she got smashed and unalived by a Murphy bed. Yes. And I remember <laughs> and I remember one of them like you had you had like twins or two babies at the same time or something. And um and you could not you could not get those babies like situated like your sim would just not you would tell her to like put the babies to bed or feed the babies and like she just she just couldn't do it consistent it was so funny <laughs> that was the one that one got taken away yes yes one of them got taken away <laughs> i think it, it wasn't me because one of them we named karen because i was like name a baby after me and it was the other baby or something like that it was gravy yes it was gravy <laughs> oh my gosh and then the last legacy challenge i tried the she got struck by lightning twice mm -hmm. i'm like mm -hmm. what are the what are the chances of that i don't know but if you but the thing is is it, this doesn't happen on your other sims runs that you do it's the legacy challenges <laughs> your legacy challenges just have chaos just interwoven <laughs> if, if you're if it's some type of legacy challenge you're gonna have insanity <laughs> you're not wrong yeah <laughs> it is pretty wow blue it is like you wouldn't think like why why if she's doing some other kind of challenge or something it's like a kind of relatively normal sims game like some chaos happens but it's not insane but if it's a <laughs> legacy challenge it's going to be fucking bonkers i mean you're not wrong yeah yeah i don't know why i don't know why no. <laughs> I, I do have mods in it, but no 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 death mods. Yeah, no, no. But somehow I usually do I have uh the the big one where you can customize a lot of people mm -hmm. and then a lot of just hair and like eyelashes and like outfits. Yeah, make them look prettier. Yeah. So Yeah, she she little... she does have a modded Sims 4, yeah. I'm not gonna want to start one now. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, Taylor just released a new album. Maybe you can have a tortured poet society themed legacy. Oh, yeah, like Ooh. that could work. That's a good idea. Ooh, that's a good right. Idea. Like you're seeing the potential, right? Oh yes, I am. <laughs> Yeah, I do the cast and objects, but haven't gotten into full game mods. I love I love mods. I don't really play Sims 4, but my Sims 2 that we don't really play very very much anymore since I've kind of moved on to a different niche. But it's pretty have mine's pretty heavily modded.
Okay, so we're gonna teach Wesley about how being isolationist is bad actually. Yeah. And um, you shouldn't do that. But we need l more mana, which I guess is, is kind of like their money um, to do that. So that's what's happening in this quest, it looks like. All right, thank you so much for hanging out, Blue. Thank you so much. Bye, Blue. Bye-bye. Okay, it's close to bedtime anyway. Okay, so we need mana. So I guess I need to sell stuff. Like, sell elf stuff. To get money. So maybe I should actually clean up this farm over here. They've got some pretty good, like, challenging romance characters in here, like Shang that you were just talking about. And then, like, I assume you can romance Wesley as well um, over here in Elfland. But he starts out really hating you. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a haters to lovers trope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in, we're doing we're doing enemies to lovers over here. <laughs> okay, I need to sell. Where's my selling portal? Oh, oh shoot! I don't have time to walk to that. It's bedtime. I wonder if you pass out in Elfland if it takes you back to the Sunhaven Doctor. If they have a doctor here in Elfland. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by, madam. You know we love our lurkers here, and of course you just raided. So I totally support raiding and running. I think that that's like, that's a good thing to do. I have to do it a lot of times. Oh, I followed you also, madame. So. Delivery Thank dragon, you. Archmage of Sunhaven. I don't want to sound rude, but it's hard to tell you guys apart. Do you know who the Archmage is? Oh, uh, that's Lucia. Okay. Yay. All right. All right, you guys. So if y'all, if y'all liked, um, oh, let me spell this right. There we go. All right, so if y'all thought that conversation was cool, if you liked Madam MG, there you go. Go give her a follow. She's pretty cool. She was one of the people that um, that I uh, watched a lot of streams and like hung out with and stuff like early, early on when I started Twitch. Um, so um, so yeah, I don't I I don't know. I'm out of the loop on what she streams now, but I can tell you back in the day there was definitely um, don't starve streams. So I remember those. Okay. Did you know that in Don't Starve Together, if you play solo, which I've done before, to get better at the game when we used to play it, yeah, um, if you chop down certain trees, the trees come to life and they chase you. No, I don't remember that happening. I don't know <laughs> if that ever happened to me. That's terrifying. That's absolutely, that's really scary. I was going around trying to gather wood so I can make different things and uh, make campfires and stuff for my little base area and yeah the tree came to life and started stomping around oh my me. oh my yeah i never experienced that so i don't know if that's just luck or what but yeah i had no idea so if i did i um i forgot oh there's a music then festival tomorrow Ooh. i wonder if taylor will be there i hope so <laughs> so I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go because I go walking on the on Tuesdays and yes. Thursdays if I don't have to work late. Yeah. I'll go walking on a trail. So I've been playing Pokemon Go and I have a little three star Eevee and her name is Taylor. And uh, <gasps> oh. I went with my friend on the day that the torture post department came out. And uh, we, her and her kids and I all went walking and she gave me, my little Eevee gave me a souvenir and it was a it was a ticket and my friend's like yeah to her concert <laughs> I was like, well, oh God, you know. that's so cute <laughs> oh my like, god the very first souvenir she ever got me was a she a ever ticket. brought me was a little ticket sub that is so freaking <laughs> cute <laughs> so she's my little my little buddy i love it yeah i used to be like so into pokemon go um you know, the pandemic really killed it for me. It took them forever to update that game to make it like playable, you know, when, yeah. when we were all kind of like housebound. Uh -huh. And so I just, it made me completely lose interest. But my husband, like Levi and, um, and Jeff, like they both still play it from time to time, you know? Yeah. I got randomly in it back into it because I was like, <laughs> I was at church one day 
And yeah. I was like, I wonder what's going on in Pokemon Go. And then I realized that the gym, my church was a gym. <gasps> oh, and so that well. And coming back into it every Sunday. And then makes I was sense. like, I wonder what's going on in like the rest of the town. And that's how I found out all this new stuff that's going on and all the EVs are around and all the other things. And I was like, oh, so I just kind of, I got sucked back into it. Yeah, and it makes sense. Like, it is helpful. Like, if you're going to go walking and things like that, it's a good motivator to get you to walk a little bit more, I feel like. Yep. Because you can earn candies with your little buddy and mm -hmm. uh, hearts that make them, like, your friendship go up with them. Yeah. And I need, like, 90 more hearts, and then she'll be, like, my best buddy, and she'll have a matching best buddies ribbon that I have. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> well, that, that feature, of course, was not in there when I was playing. So, and then, like, I have enough hearts to uh, evolve her into a Sylveon, but I want her to be the biggest and the toughest Eevee there ever was. Oh, so you are you not going to evolve her? Nope. Mm. I just can't. I just, I, I just can't. I want her to be the strongest Eevee ever. I get it. I totally get it. Eevee's the best. Mm-hmm. I do have other uh, evolutions, but she's going to stay in Eevee. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. I like that. Have one that's that's not going to evolve. And now I'm thinking about Pokemon. I can't <laughs> wait for the new Pokemon's Legends game. Did you ever play Legends Arceus? No. Okay. They're making a new new Legends game. Like, and it, it, it looks so good. I love Legends Arceus. So I'm like super excited for this. The Legends Legends Arceus was the one where like all the Pokemon, the first one that they made, where all the Pokemon were in the overworld, and you could just throw balls to catch them. Like you don't have to go into the battles. You just oh, catch nice. them. Yeah, it was it's so fun. It's so fun. So I can't wait for the sequel. Oh my gosh, this farm is such a mess. I've been at this for so long already since this morning and I've only cleared this tiny little portion. This poor farm. I let it get overrun by completely neglecting it. Oh, I have two hearts with the doctor now. Oh, good. I need cookies. Well, good. I have cookies. Yeah, and the cookies are pretty simple to make, so we should be able to make more as well. There's a couple of quests early on that you have to get cookies for, so that might be like one of them, and then there's another. I did have cookies, what I do with them? Definitely gonna have to sell some stuff. I'm not gaining mana very fast, just like from passively cleaning up. Oh, the smell was curry, by the way. We're having curry tonight. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I have never had curry before. You've never had curry? No. Do they not so. have an um, Indian restaurant in your area? No. No? Okay, someday we'll have to get Lunar some curry. I, I love curry. Like Masaman um, is the best. Indian food in general is just so good. Before no, um, in that Indian food. Oh my Actually. gosh! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You know, I never had it until I was an adult either. I, I grew up in kind of the middle of nowhere, and they didn't have an Indian restaurant. They actually do have one now, but when I was growing up, they didn't. So I was I was in my twenties before I ever tried Indian food. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. And now I love it. <clears throat> so I have curry tonight and I cannot wait. It smells so good. But a lot of Indian food is like, or at least the kinds I like, is like a lot of like stews and stuff with like really good sauces. Um, and then you eat it with the naan bread. It's so good. I place a wardrobe in my house and I don't like where it is and I can't move it. I think you pickaxe it to move it. It'll go back in your inventory Perfect. if you pickaxe it. Thank you. That, that worked? Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> so I was hoping I wasn't to, lying. It's not supposed to do that. I'm not supposed to be there. Yeah, pickaxe, and you can pick it up. I think that's how you pick up pretty much anything. to go check out what all I can make so I only have the one workbench here there's got to be like a whole suite of things just like it is in the uh, in like Sunhaven part okay it costs mana oh my god it costs mana to make stuff oh and I don't have, I only have 87 total mana. I need 100. Oh my god, I have to raise my mana stat to be able to make stuff. <laughs> Geekster, that is terrifying. I can't believe I don't have good enough stats to make shit. What the heck is up with that? How are you, by the way? Are you having a good weekend, Geekstra? Yo! <laughs> Hello! I was lurking your stream the other day. I'm sorry I was too busy to really like pay attention or, or watch too much, but I did see you online and I clicked you. How have you been? Okay. We got a lot of stuff in here. Oh, I guess I should open this letter. Oh, sweet. Community tokens no and story. money. You can send some some of that snow over to Texas. I'll take some. A severe snowstorm. Oh my god. I'm eating chips and salsa and dog sitting. Oh, that sounds like such a good time. Uh, Geekster, you get paid to do like the most chillest, coolest shit. I feel like, um, I mean, obviously, like, obviously I'm romanticizing this a little bit, but like, I don't know. You just see, you like have such a like chill life. You know, I feel like that. Everything you share, I'm like, ah, oh. you got like the the chillest vibes, just in your day to day. You know, I love it. The mountains are getting 30 plus inches of snow, and we're expected to get five to 15 inches down here. Did okay. Someone needs to to tell the sky. Okay, like get. We need. We need. We need to talk to Zeus, okay? We need a real sky god here, okay? It is almost May. Why? Why? What do you mean, and down here, 5 to 15 inches? It's almost May. There should not be snow anywhere except on the mountains. What? What the heck? What the heck? Pay is good, made $400 for three days of being lazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we did end up using the Rover app when we, to get a, a somebody to come by and check on the cats when we were on the cruise. It was great. 
it totally worked it was perfect we had no issues um i loved it um worked really 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 well and i would recommend that to anybody it was a little bit hard to find a person that like i was willing to accept that was like free and available at the time and yada yada all that stuff but as far but the app made it pretty easy so that i could like just go to another person if it wasn't working out you know what i mean i don't know if i would use it for like a last minute situation but if i had like time to plan so that if i didn't like the first person i reach out to i'd find another then i would recommend that app rover it worked pretty good have you ever used that for like getting a dog sitter lunar no, I usually ask oh. my um, best friend because she's a stay-at-home mom. Oh, okay. Well, then you can uh, just take the dog over to her house. Yeah. yeah. And then I do it for her and she does it for me. So. Yeah. I guess that's easy if she's a stay-at-home mom, then she can most of the time say yes. And her, her, her son every single... loves my dogs, so. Oh! <clears throat> oh I brought her over then. with me one day and her three-year-old was laying on her she's a german shepherd and was just laying against her oh, and she was so just sleeping cute. and he was just watching tv just laying his head on her just petting her head that is adorable it so really it's kind cute. of like they it's like a play date for them kind of too yes. since they get along he knew he knew the little boy when he was a baby so oh oh i love he was, that i remember he was learning how to roll over and he was crying we were making food and uh, I look over and Cadence wakes up, comes over to him, and just kind of looks at him and then kind of nudges him with her nose. Mm -hmm. Helping them roll all. over. Yeah. Oh so God. they they've been uh they've been friends for years. Oh my gosh. Literally that dog watched that baby grow up. Yep. That's so cute. Good thing about Rover is every single Rover person has to be a good person. If Rover gets too many bad reviews, they're booted from the app and they can never make another profile. Yeah. Oh, Next wow. weekend, I'm animal sitting for my mom's coworker, a 180 pound beast of a dog, a cat, and an, I don't know how to say that word, but a mud kip. <laughs> Fish and four chickens. That's a zoo. They must be out in the country. Yeah, Luna, your dog's your dog's pretty big too, right? Yes, she's very. She we have three three big dogs. Yeah, I'm trying to talk my mom into letting us foster a wolf dog. <gasps> oh my god, that would be even bigger. So far, she says no. <laughs> yeah, I would say no too if I was her, to be honest. But because I would like to see pictures of your wolf dog, I think you should do it. <laughs> but you know, I don't have to live with the wolf dog, so <laughs> you know. So that's where that's what we're going on in my life right now. I, oh I bring gosh. it up at random times, and each time she's like, "No." <laughs> I'm, I'm not sneaky enough. Ah, uh, well, maybe, maybe. Um, Maybe you can find one that's like a puppy and and like doesn't look so wolfy so she doesn't realize what's going to happen. <laughs> you can like kind of like nudge it in that way. I kind of wanted to get a cat from the animal shelter on um, Friday and be like, oh, no, mom, I just found this this poor little kitty in the follow me home. Can we keep store. it? Yeah, I want to name it Karma. Aww. But I was like, my mother would kill me. Is, it, does she feel like y'all are full on animals? Is that the situation? Yes. I see. So I was like, I can't. I can't. Yeah. Not yeah. yet, at least. I understand. I mean, if she feels like you're full, you know. I get it. City? Someone's in the city with four chickens? What? Where do what? they keep them? Yeah, this this um this pet sitting job that Geekstra has with the dog, the cat, the mudkip, fish, and four chickens, they're in the city. Wow. Oh. I do the chickens have a place to roam? Are they like that lady on TikTok that has inside chickens? There's this lady on TikTok that has inside chickens. And to keep chickens inside, like um they wear diapers. <laughs> because <laughs> they're so indiscriminate <laughs> and, and it actually it actually they actually do 
seem like really good pets like they really do but they have a little bit a little bit of a different routine than you might have with some other types of birds or or things like that you know but she has house chickens <laughs> house chickens yeah oh my gosh they're great chickens well i mean the tiktok lady has me convinced that chickens are very personable birds and you know and all of that so like i believe it like, they are very, very domesticated, very sweet animals. Lunar, it's 11.50. Get to bed. Oh, oh, oh. I'm in my house. Oh, my get wardrobe. in bed. Get in bed. Good. Thank you for reminding me. You're welcome. They, <laughs> lie, they lay five eggs a day. Okay, so they will always have fresh eggs anytime they want eggs. That's nice. Okay, talk to Bernard in the town center after 12 p.m. Okay, so we have to go to the music festival today, Lunar, so we can experience that. All right. I may or may not have added a pet to our pet sanctuary right here. <gasps> what did you add? A kitty. A, Where'd a you get eagle. a kitty? Um, for some odd reason, it gave me the the packs that I, I bought when I first started playing this game. Yeah. And one of them was a Halloween edition, so it's a Halloween-inspired kitty cat. Oh, <gasps> that's so cute. And I also have a different mount. Mm hmm. The spooky mount. I should probably look at the, the DLC for this game and buy one or something. I've put, like, so many hours into this game, and it was not an expensive game, you know? I enjoy them. They it gives you little outfits you can wear and yeah, like cute stuff. Tons of fun stuff. Like the ones that you, the one that you have is cute, and like Kitty has that mushroom one, and her house is so cute with all the mushroom stuff. So I should love. I enjoy, I enjoy it. I like, I like mounts. Who, who yeah. are you? Tanya. Oh, she's the male deliverer. Okay. Bye. Fresh eggs are so good. I had a coworker that would um that had chickens at one point in time and I would get the eggs from her. It was so good. So much better than like the store bought ones. Okay, before I leave, I guess I should plant. Did I did I get any more acorn seeds with my like cleanup project that I'm trying to do? Oh wait, I don't I don't want the regular crafting table. Oh my gosh, I don't want the mailbox either. Stop it. I want the chest. There we go. Oh, just one. Okay. Every time, I, my, every time I play this game, I want to play more of this game. Yeah, that's what happens to me too. Like every time we stream it, I like have to go play my um, my town for like a bunch, like my personal game. Like I kind of want to start a new farm and have it off off stream. Yeah, yeah. I have an off stream character. I have a like a cat girl that's for off stream, and I play the demon boy on stream. Then boy. Yeah. He's so cool. I give him blue blush under the eyeballs. Which I think is like the coolest feature that in this game that you can do that. Because I love I like it when my eyeballs look like I'm blushing. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't? Yeah. Yeah. I'm done with Elfland for the moment. I cleaned up a lot of our farm. It was a mess. Coming back to Sunhaven. 
We're gonna go to the music festival. It's a hardware store. I didn't know. <gasps> oh, I see the Halloween kitty. It's so cute. His name is Noir. Aww. I love it. There are other ones like a, a serpent and a spider and a ghost, but I left those in my inventory. I see. The kitty cat had to come play though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I wonder if these stores that are closed are going to ever be open later on in the game. I think that we have to like do stuff trigger to trigger them to open. Looks like it was a clothing store. Oh, repair for twenty five. Repair for twenty five wood planks, five fabric, and three thousand gold. Yeah, yeah. So we okay. have to do that. So we can fix them. Yes. Okay. Cool. That's the other thing that's so that's so good about this game. Like there is like forever stuff to do. Like you, I feel like you never like I've I put so many hours into this game, and it just would take forever to do everything. You know, which is awesome. You never feel like you're like have done everything. I have been waiting for you, Davina. Step forward. Let me. Oh, I don't want. Oh, to are you be. talking to Elios? Yeah, no, I don't know if I want to. No, you do, you do. Okay. <laughs> it's like I turn around and run away. No, no, don't run away. Talk to him. Who do you live your life for? Yeah, uh -huh. and just answer his questions with what's in your heart. Oh my mm. gosh. The one thing about this game though is the longer I play it on stream, the more like weird frame rate issues it starts to get. It is a pretty hefty game for a pixel art game. It uses a lot of resources. I feel my destiny living in the mm, that one. Okay, I gave the snackoon enough pineapples now. He just needs mangoes. Here, I can close that. Close Chrome, see if that helps. With some of the frames. Oh, I got his blessing. Yay! That's what you want. Yay. All right, Lunar, you want to come to the music festival? Yes, I'm just leaving that. Okay. Okay, meet me at um, at the town center. We're going to talk to Bernard and we're going to go. <laughs> look at you on your ghost. <laughs> oh my God. You look so cool. Okay. Thank you. Uh, what is the music uh, festival? Okay. I hope Taylor Swift is there. Me too. I feel like she should be. Like, where else would she be? This is the Sunhaven Music Festival. It's a big deal. Whoa. Oh my gosh, we're here. Look at this. Oh, where did what I do? What do you oh, what do you mean? Oops. Oh, they've got like music themed, uh, they've got music themed, uh, treats. That's cute. Music note cupcakes. 
<gasps> yeah, Daddy, it's adorable. Here's a pizza, piano cake. Oh my gosh, this is cute. Yeah, I love it. Music note dip. Oh, bless you. I feel like that that sneeze was loud enough the microphone might have picked it up. It's okay. <laughs> Rock and roll poster. Electric guitar. Okay, we have to go talk to the shady salesman after the show. He's going to have some shady shit for us. I love shady <laughs> shit. Oh, you can buy guitars and stuff. That's cool. I guess that's like for musical decorations. Is there anything down here? No, just a dead end. Okay. Did I talk to you, Ashton? Oh, wow, there's more people up here. Oh, wow. Yeah, everybody's here. I can't wait to see it, kitty. Did you just throw a fireball? What are you doing up there? Um, just putting on a show. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what, your clothes changed? Is that from the DLC? Yeah. She's a she's the witch now. Oh, okay. I felt it. I felt it fit her because now she's now she has fire powers. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Oh, here's another wolf girl. Don. No, this is a boy. <laughs> Just kidding. This is a wolf boy, Donovan. Ooh. Oh, no! I want to go talk to the boy. Oh, well, okay. What are you doing? I started the thing. Oh, you started a cutscene? Let's see what happens. I'm talking to everybody, and then I'll start start a cutscene. Ooh. Well, Claude's here. Claude, Claude, I don't think, was at the other thing. Maybe he was. I don't remember. Oh, the kids are putting on a little thing, and Tanya's their backup dancer. That's cute. Oh, I see. You talked to Giuseppe to start the cutscene. I should probably read what it says and not just click random buttons. Yeah, it's so fun to click random buttons in this game, though. I keep doing it. And then I'm like, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh my gosh, Kitty doing a K-pop show! <gasps> okay, I really like... I really like this, this boy wolf boy. Oh, I really like him. Sorry, I am just enthralled. Kitty is doing... A K-pop. Ah! I keep. I can't stop cheering. I kept cheering. I think, wrong. Yeah, I think I have to stop eventually, because it just the same thing keeps happening. Okay, and we're we're done. Sorry, I was so enthralled. I got all the winks. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was so cute. Oh, Claude's going next. Okay, let's watch Claude. Oh, he's violining. Ooh. I'm gonna cheer for him. I cheer for him. I don't think there's any reason to cheer multiple times, though. It's doing the same thing as, as Kitty, where it's just, like, doing the same thing over and over. <clears throat> okay, that's the only two, and then we're, we're done. 
Okay, so now that the shows have happened, let me go talk to the shady salesman again. Do you have anything for me now? Oh! There's records! There's records of the... Oh, I'm buying them both. I have to have Kitty's K-pop record. Okay, I got them. All right, I left. I don't know if if uh, if you have to click it for yourself. I assume you do. <clears throat> I liked the music festival. That was a cute little event. Lunar, are you still there? We've lost Lunar, you guys. She's she's so oh. enthralled by the music. <laughs> I'm here. Okay. <laughs> I had myself muted. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's all good. I like to. They have cute holidays in this game. I really like the music festival. That was really cute. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We've seen two of them so far. We saw like the, the beginning of the summer festival with the lights, and then we've seen the music one. Both really cute. I took the the um lantern. Uh oh. What is that? What is that? A massive squid oh. monster emerges from the briny deeps. Oh goodness. His name is Herman. Herman? Squ oh no, he's throwing ink at us! Oh, please don't. That's not very nice. No, he's a joke. <laughs> Bye. What? He's sleeping. Peter, help us. What the heck? <gasps> uh, There's sludge everywhere. What? <gasps> Do you see it? How? What? How do we... What do we... It says watering can. You have to use your watering can on it. Oh, I know, lady. This okay. is so ugly. Yeah, no, Get I don't out like here, ink puddles. Gross. Oh, my God. They're everywhere. Everywhere. Okay, wait. I'm going to go talk to Peter. Maybe he can help us. Peter... Get rid of this ink, it's gross. I know, lady, it's so gross. Okay? It's not good for our aesthetic. Wait, lady, I can't see through your body. <laughs> okay. Oh. It's Peter's mortal enemy. Well, please don't sleep where your mortal enemy is going to find us. Hi, lady. We're going to chase the beast into the open ocean and make our stand. I'll explain on the way. Wait, I'm not ready for that. Okay. I think we're going to... Because it says you need your best fishing pole. I, I only have... What do I have? I have just the basic fishing pole. <laughs> I think Same. I need to upgrade. Same. Yeah, I don't think we're ready. I've got some of the puddles all taken care of, but not all of them. Yeah, they're everywhere. Okay, well, I'm going to stop by the museum, and then I'm going to go to the the store by the pier and see if there's, like, a better fishing poles that we can get. I'm only fishing level two. Oh, well, that might pose a problem. <laughs> I don't I don't know how that's gonna work. <laughs> I think I have um I only have fishing level three. Oh no. 
Um, we might be in trouble, Lunar. <laughs> we might have a real problem on our hands. Looks like I'll be uh, getting Davina some higher levels off stream. Yeah, we'll see. I might need to concentrate on fishing uh, next stream instead of uh, the mines. <laughs> All right, I put okay. our put a bunch of stuff in the museum. <clears throat> Gosh, they literally are everywhere. Yeah, yeah, like ah, what the heck? Oh wait, I was gonna go check out the pier. Hang on, I was see see if we can get a better fishing pole. I've never even tried to buy a better fishing pole or anything like that. I will say, though, I do enjoy this um, fishing game, mini game, better than the one in Stardew Valley. Me too. Yeah, I, I li actually like this one. I think it's like it's challenging enough for me where it's fun, but it's not like um, so crazy challenging like the, how the Stardew one is sometimes to yeah. where I'm just annoyed and don't want to do it. Yeah, same. Okay, I think I got all the ink. Okay, there is um, a golden fishing rod that uh, that we can get for 10k. It says I need to be level 20 to use it, though. And very good fishing rod, I need level 10 to use it. Oh my god. Okay, so there's no point until I level up my fishing. I guess I'm just gonna go see what this is. I guess I'm just gonna go see what this is. And um, if I can't do it, then uh, during the next community day, it will be a goal to get Terry's fishing up so that we can defeat the squid. I will play some of Davina off stream so I can make sure she's leveled up enough. Yeah, try to catch her up a little bit. All right. Okay, me and my basic bitch fishing pole. Um, we're gonna go take on the squid and see what happens. <laughs> Somehow, I think this is going to go poorly for me. I'll come I with don't. You. I don't have very high hopes. So let's find out. <clears throat> I guess this is what I get for neglecting fishing. <laughs> okay, so we I have to catch bomb fish. Oh, that was funny. When you spawned in, it just had you, like, walking into the boat oh from the water. <laughs> it was so weird looking. That is a boot. Not a bomb fish. Okay, if not defeated, the, the squid's going to leave our farm on the 19th. Oh, there's a bomb fish. Okay. How many bomb fish do I need, though? 
It says some bomb fish. Forty? We need forty? We need forty? Need we need forty. Holy crap. Each? Um I think I so. hope not. I hope we don't need forty each. Oh my god. It's a lot of bomb fish. Because I tried to give him my one bomb fish I have and it said uh zero of forty. Zero of forty, oh my god. Okay, so I have to need 38 more. <laughs> uh... Oh, clicked too soon. At least the bomb fish are not crazy hard to catch. Right? Like the, some of them in Stardew Valley? Yeah. I mean, I assume there's other fish that I just haven't experienced yet that are hard to catch, but for the most part, I feel like I got this. Maybe and the it's levels... not 40 each. Maybe it's 40 together. Hopefully. Let me turn in what I have and we can see if it moves your needle. Okay, they so have I have some bomb so fish. Okay, it's 40 together. Okay, good. Yeah, because I saw your two in there when I added mine. Okay, good. That's more... That's, yeah. That's doable. Yeah, so it's not 40 individually. Well, this is leveling up my fishing. <laughs> Same. You are a little fishy. I'm level four now. I'm about to be level three. What did I say the better fishing rod was? I know the golden one was level 20, but was the other one 10 or five? 10. It was 10? Okay. So no reason to buy a new pole until we get to level 10. Yay, level three. Oh, what happened? Yeah, the leveling's actually going pretty fast. Oh, I got taken back to the the, the thing. Why? Uh, because he's talking to me. Oh. The sun dragon lion thing. Oh. Your service in Sunhaven has been notable, but today the safety of Sunhaven depends on you. Wait, what? What are you doing? I don't know. You oh, have to fishing. save us! I'm on my way. Farewell, Davina. Okay. Lunar, you're oh, our only back. hope. I'm so confused. Save us! Just, I'm so confused at what just happened. Hmm. Well, Lunar, we are getting um, close to end of my normal stream time, so you just let me know when you need to go set up for your stream, and then I'll stay live until it's uh, time to raid into you. I'm pretty sure I just froze, so... Oh, oh no! <laughs> I can still time. see you. I can't move. The heck? She's moving, like her tail. Yeah, I see. I see the little her, your her little <laughs> idle animation. Well, because that's a good time for me to <laughs> end for me. Because it's time for Lunar to go live. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me to play on stream. That was really fun. Of course. Um, I'll. Uh, it'll probably be the last Saturday of the month again for the next um, Sun uh, Sunhaven stream. So look out for that. Absolutely. Sweet. All right. Bye, Lunar. I'll see you in a minute when we raid. Bye. Bye. Oh, I guess I can... We don't need the zoom cam anymore.
Okay, let's see how many bomb fish I can catch before Lunar goes live. Yeah, I'm just going to close the zoom altogether. There we go. So it's not taking up space. Fishies, come to me. I wonder if it's like only bomb fish that you catch on this event. Like, and it's just otherwise trash. Like we've gotten the boots and the can, but I haven't seen any other kind of fish. So I wonder if it's even possible. Dang it. I feel like when I don't get perfect is when a lot of times it's like a boot or a can. Let's see how many we get up to. Okay, we got 15. We've gotten 15 bomb fish. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay, it's for a bundle. I like how the bomb fish are just like weird looking puffer fish. Because if there was a bomb fish in real life, it would be a puffer fish. For sure, for sure. Mm. I clicked too soon. This is leveling my fishing really fast. Okay, what's this? Oh. Difficulty. Every item collected. Okay. So I'll have to decide on the next level if I lower difficulty or if I increase number of fish. Is it even possible to get 40? Because we've, we've gotten half. We've gotten half. Um, I would think by yourself, solo play, it would be almost impossible to get 40 in one day. Because it's like 8 p.m. and we've only got into 21. And like two of those were Lunars. At least. I don't know if she put in more, but I know at least two were hers. There was another shadow this way. Where are you, Fishy? I saw you. Are you behind Peter now? There you are. All right, Lunar's going live. So let's wrap this up. All right, we got 23 bomb fish. Oh, I guess I have to talk to him. Take me home. Don't worry, Peter, I will come back tomorrow and catch more bomb fish. I know that means I'm gonna get inked again, but it's just gonna have to be what it is. Okay. 
Um, we need to sell this. Oh, I forgot to put this in the museum. Okay, we don't need this rusty shit. We don't need this antler. Um, don't need this or these. Okay. All right, okay, so we are going to end Sunhaven there. All right, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me during our community day. We do these typically on the last Saturday of the month, so that's probably when it's going to be next time. Um, thank you so much. Uh, if you are watching the recorded version of this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.